that the past few weeks we heard jesus calling his disciples to form a group of men who could help him in his uh, ministry and last week we celebrated the um, sunday of the word where we heard of the importance of god speaking to us through the scriptures and this week we are told about the divine authority how it is being exercised in the prophets in in the apostles and now jesus himself who was very popular in his uh, way of healing people and forgiving sins talking about forgiveness you know there was a dirty drunken wino who was passing by a catholic church once and he saw a board there that said confessions being heard so since he had not been to confession in a long time so he staggered himself into uh, the church and knelt down in 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 the confessional and began to confess his sins unfortunately his breath was so foul that the priest who was hearing his confession couldn't stand it any longer and decided to cut uh, the confession short so he asked look buddy have you murdered anybody lately <laughs> nope said the wino okay then the priest said that's it i will give you the absolution prayer you may go so he blessed him and he sent him off slightly puzzled about the rush the wino staggered out of the confessional and as he was leaving the church he saw one of his uh, uh, fellow wino walking into the church and assuming he was also going for confession he said are you going to confession he said yes to which this guy said don't waste your time the first wino said you know he ain't hearing nothing today except murder cases <laughs> so friends today we are blessed to have this beautiful gospel where jesus heals forgives sins and he invites us to join in his mission as well of forgiving and the catholic church is interested with his task of the sacrament of reconciliation let us make use of them let us now uh, watch the much awaited video from bishop john noonan our bishop who's talking to us about what your help does to the diocese my sisters and brothers in christ Great is our Lord. I'm often amazed when I visit your parishes and see the work you do through different ministries. I'm grateful for your dedication to your faith in God. When you hear the gospel proclaimed, you and I learn how great is our Lord. Jesus leaves the synagogue and enters the house of Peter and his brother. Peter's mother-in-law was sick with a fever. Jesus grasps her by the hand and helps her up. The fever left her and she waited on them. How great is our Lord when he helps us to see the needs of our sisters and brothers. The ministry supported by you through our Catholic appeal proclaim great is our God. You receive the Eucharist and become the gift of Jesus to serve one another. When we're here, it's the church. We make it look like a church, it feels like a church, and we just have a wonderful time in worship and praise, uh, receiving Holy Eucharist, and just building the community of people here in Lake Nona, which every weekend, you know, grows and grows. It seemed like a great experience starting a church from the very beginning. We found this to be a wonderful community. It's special. We love coming here on Sundays to worship. Hopefully one day, one year, we'll have our own building, but we understand that the church is the, the people we are the church and the church is universal and it doesn't matter if the church is you know 4 years old or 40 years old or 140 years old 
We are still the body of Christ, and we have got to give our time, our talent, and our treasure. Get involved, contribute. It gives you such a good feeling in your heart, in your spirit, in your soul. There's no way one person can do everything. So I have especially been appreciative through our Catholic appeal that we have gotten so much help and assistance from the leadership uh, of the Diocese of Orlando in all departments. From day one, we had uh, the cooperation and guidance of the diocese, helping us to design, find the architects, find the builders. It is quite grand. It is quite beautiful. When you walk up towards the grotto, you have a sense of peace, serenity. I forget all about what's going on in the outside world. I feel like I'm in heaven already. Kneeling there and saying a couple of Hail Marys and Our Father, I am so honored to do that. It doesn't matter if you have to drive an hour or two hours. It's worth it. It will increase your faith. I can guarantee that. We're doing God's will. We're doing it for Jesus. There's many projects that we work on here in design and construction that without the Catholic appeal just wouldn't happen. I've always said that a community is not complete if everyone can't participate. And I believe that everyone has a talent that matches an employer's needs. I'm proud of myself for starting for the first time in my life working, getting a real job. I'm proud because this is just the beginning, my first job. And I'm happy for someone to believe in me. Thank you all for supporting me and believing me and always being there for me and always being by my side. Never give up, right? Yep, that's right, never give up. And never, and never doubt yourself. It is our sacred duty as God's children to reach out and tend to those who are in need regardless of faith, language, way of life. We're all called to be there for one another. And the work of Magnify is precisely the wonderful blessing of magnifying that heart. I had a massive heart attack just before we were supposed to move down here. We were sleeping in our car, and then we uh, we rode into Jennifer's office at Catholic Charities. I said, I'm not going to have you guys in a car anymore, so come on back. I'm a firm believer in Jesus. Everything happens for a reason. They gave us food <laughs> as soon as we got here. I loved it. I have nothing but love for, for the Catholic Charities. The treasures of the church are the poor the lame, the sick, we will never run out of needs. So the more funding we get, the more needs we can fulfill. We need priests to celebrate the Eucharist. And if the Eucharist is the center of our life, then we will be on our knees praying for more vocations to the priesthood. God so much wants to encounter us through the Blessed Sacrament. He says time and time again, peace be with you. And yet we live in a world in which so many people are not at peace. So he gives us the Son who gives us the Eucharist so we might know that deep abiding peace. Jesus has come to set his people free. He has come to give them life by giving us his life, by sharing with us his body and his blood that we may have joy and have it to the full. He sacrificed himself for us on the cross to free us from the grip of sin and death. He looks at us with eyes of love and he says, go forward and sin no more. Despite such lack of faith and even evils in the world, in the background, God says, I love you so much, I will never, ever abandon you. When you receive the communion, 
you need to be transformed because we are what we consume and you are going to share this, to transmit this good news to the people. Jesus is alive, Jesus is with us. Jesus wants us to be builders of the city of love. Fall in love with Jesus in the Eucharist and it'll change everything. How great is our Lord. Thank you for your generosity to our Catholic appeal. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. That was beautiful, right? Beautiful. Um, I will take this moment for us to celebrate. We want to celebrate you for your generosity in supporting us last year with our goal. And meanwhile, I invite our ushers to come forward with baskets containing these envelopes. I know most of you have received the envelope uh, um, from the bishop already, but you can pick it up. And if you're a visitor also, if you want to support us, please take an envelope and please make sure you write your name so that we get the credit for it. Um, that will be a way to increase our percentage of participation. Um, let us look at some of the slides now. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank you for your generosity. Last year, how did you do? We had the goal of uh, reaching 410 919 dollars so that was a great achievement we did it and we did it even by exceeding it so i want to thank you for that generous gift and um, thanks especially for the major donors who helped us to reach the goal um, faster as i told you we have some criteria based on which some uh, charts are prepared uh, goals are met. So I was talking to you about the top 10 parishes in the diocese, and let's look at how we figure in that. So top 10 parishes by percentage of participation. Let's look at that. Did we make it? No, because Holy Spirit MIMS made it with their 79%. MIMS, you know where it is? MIMS, down there somewhere. They made it. They made it and we in Vera, heart of the city here, we did not make it. So that's something we need to work on this year. Top 10 parishes by percentage of goal, we didn't meet it. Some of them are doing 190% more than the goal. That is awesome. Let's see, top 10 parishes by dollars raised. We are there, we are six in the diocese, that is amazing. Uh, but Annunciation, look at that. They are nearly a million dollar, ooh. Where are they? Okay, um, so we, we are here, we are doing what we can do, that's amazing. Thank you, thank you all for your support. And then they have new criteria now. First 10 parishes or missions to reach the goal. The first one to reach the goal, like, in two weeks, if you reach the goal, we'll be number one. So that's why today I'm urging you to do this. Um, next slide is most improved parishes in, in terms of number of donors. So last year, we stood first because every amount counts. Everything that you do, only thing we need your name and address, at least your full name, so we get credit for that. So this is what we will do this year. If you're visiting or if you want to give something or the other, just make sure your name is put and we will take care of getting the credit for St. John's. And uh, most improved parishes by percentage of participation, we are not there. We just missed it by 0.2%. Most improved parishes by dollar raised, of course, we are there. So I just want to thank you for last year's uh, contribution and your generosity, especially those who give large amounts and they are the ones who help us reach the goal. Um, so thank you again. Great. Let us see, Bishop has already um, explained all that we, they do with our help in OCA. Just, just to 
remind you that this is a great way to support the leadership and parish life ministry, which is about 23%, and the discipleship, stewardship, human dignity, solidarity, all of that is being uh, used to help these uh, departments. Most especially with faith formation of adults, youth, and children, uh, there were 22,000 children and youth who were helped. 64,000 people were provided with fresh food, and 5,718 um, people received help for their utilities and uh, health care. And 14,000 children are in our Catholic schools all over the diocese. So this is how they can help Catholic education. Catholic charities is another part, and they play a big part, especially with the Stevens Way, St. Stevens Way, you remember? Um, we are part of it, so they also help them. And remember, they help with communication, they help with culture of life, they help with formation of seminarians who become priests, and especially with the deacons who want to be permanent deacons. Our own Tom Buddington is almost ready after six years of formation. He is now going to complete. In June, we will celebrate his ordination. So that's a good news. So this is how our money is being used uh, in the diocese. So I just want to thank you again for that. I want to pick on the one that we were most helped ourselves. Our grotto. Did you see the beautiful presentation on the grotto? This is a fascinating, fabulous place to pray and find some peace. So I just want you to look at the, the land, how it was one year ago, one and a half years ago. That's how it was. And then you see during the construction and after the construction and uh, see how beautiful it is. And also now, how it is. We celebrate masses there. We pray the rosary every week. And uh, coming Easter, we will be celebrating our sunrise mass there at six o'clock. So don't miss that. And so this is a beautiful place. Okay, once again, I just want to thank you for your support in building this beautiful uh, sacred space for people to visit. It's open 24 seven. A lot of people come even at midnight. I have seen people praying there. Fabulous testimony to your generosity. Thank you. Now, what's our goal? You know, I, these times, you know, I, I keep thinking deeply about, you know, how we can um, generate some interest in our people. As I was walking to some place, I saw a poster that said, what is your goal? I said, yes, you're asking me what's my goal. I know what's my goal. But then it said, our goal is to help you achieve yours. And I said, wow, thank you, God, for telling me that. But God is telling me, like, your people are going to say this today to you. Like, your people are going to say this to me. Our goal is to help you achieve yours. Are you on board? Are you saying that? Am I clearly hearing it? God said you would do that, and I'm so happy for that. So whatever your goal, we can help. Let's get started. Some people already started, by the way. You are starting today. And so what's our goal? For this year, our goal is $437,971. Okay, so this is amazing, doable, we can do it. I just am looking at participation. More people participate, the better it will be. And if you can do it at the earliest, we can do, you can get that slide, top 10 parishes to receive or to reach the goal sooner. So that is coming. So what do we do now? You have the envelopes now. If you are putting in some money, just please put your name so we can get credit. And the usual visitors, you can help us. Those who are new to us, please take this. If you, are, if you do not know how to do that, we will be happy to help you after the Mass. Shamir will be there with his uh, gadgets to help you with the credit card. Two minutes, you can do it. And uh, for those who would like to go online and do it, do it so you um, understand to do the drop-down menu. Go down to St. John the Evangelist, Vera, 
don't go to any other St. John's or St. Saint John the Baptist, it is St. John the Evangelist, Vera. Go down, click, and that will be credited to us. So I now invite our ushers to come forward to collect those envelopes. If you're not able to do it today, take it home and bring it next week and drop it in the collection box. Um, I'll have to talk to you until you give. I'm not going to stop. If you want me to stop, give it and I will stop. Okay. <laughs> That's the only key to this. So thank you again. Uh, it's easy if you do it online. Um, no time you can do it. So thank you again. How can I thank you enough? Thank you. Thank you for your generosity. As uh, the ushers are collecting uh, the envelopes, let us pray the Catholic Appeal Prayer. O oh Lord, we praise you for the many gifts you give us each day. From the moment we were a presence in our mother's womb, to the grace-filled rise of the sun, to the blessing of sacrament, to the night which ushers us rest, help us to grow in our living faith. Guide us to serve as leaders to bring about holiness. Bring us to share ourselves selflessly in all things, in a spirit of love of you. In the Eucharistic banquet, you give yourself completely and entirely to us. We give you our return, O Lord, with gratitude, knowing there is no measure to the gift of the cross which brings us resurrection. Amen. Let us now stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God.